Hey guys, this is Ali with your weekly forecast for September the 16th for all the signs. This week it feels like that there is actually a calming period now that we are right at the tipping point and we're moving forward. See a couple of days or before or even on the 16th, there's this emotional feeling still being there. Um, and this is about um, the group that you're with, uh, the people that you um, surround yourself with. So at work, uh, career and finance, we do have the three of pentacles now uh, this is about getting someone to look at the books this is um, you know having a clear perspective of where your uh, place in uh, your career is worth or is heading this is about the mundane details and skills needed on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, some of you are putting your practical, tangible, and maybe even financial into some sort of a small education, relicensing, uh, online course, short course, even if it's only a day or so, uh, you might find that that is here as well. Now, for other people, you might find that you've been, uh, you, you've been waiting for money and you completely forgot about it, and it now comes back in. Good week for finances and in career because it looks like you've got the Midas touch. So if you are looking for a promotion, there might be some noises that make you uh, feel that this is something you can go ahead with. Um, also, this is about your comprehension and your mindset about what the uh, short term going on to the long term future is. So it's almost like a stepping stone um, that, you know, if I put some money and attention into this now to protect myself for future advances or future changes, this could be in the way of paying for an accountant or to do some sort of study that goes with that. Now, in your study, this is about, um, you know, getting the good grades, but I also feel like we are with somebody else, or maybe more, uh, and we're looking at our course and we're like, okay, well, I'm looking at something else I can add to this, so I'm getting some advice from someone older than me. At home, we do have the King of Wands, and the King of Wands is saying, look, at home, things are looking pretty good. There needs to be a uh, discussion um, to make sure that everyone's playing their part and everyone's... Um, following the rules. Um, this is also about responsibility versus pride uh, somewhere this week as, all, as well. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is about the family generation. There is someone who wants to lord or there is someone who is the head of the family, but there's also the younger generation. Now, this could be granddad, this could be the father, over with the children and then the um, the cousins and the brothers and the, and the grandchildren. Something about the generational this week, uh, keeping your head. There, for some of you, half of you, this is about pride. You know, as a family, we're looking at um, some kind of pride. For others, this is, okay, well, someone has to step up. Someone's looking at the younger generation, and this could be an inheritance. This could be a milestone. This could be even a birth, but there's something to do with generations this, uh, this week as well. There's also a reflection for some of you as well. So if you are celebrating a milestone or if there is a change there and you're missing a parent or family, Family member with your health we do have the tower card major arcana card so this week you might get sudden information suddenly feel sick now this could be a virus as small as that or this could be shooting pains or uh, inflammation something for example some of your appendix might burst uh, or sudden pains there this is an out of the blue, uh, sudden um, pain and, and inflammation or sudden change that uh, stops you in your tracks. Now, I did ask what, um, and this is the uh, five of swords. So for some of you, this is shooting pains in our mind or um, sudden fretting to do with this um, uh, this this tower issue that's coming to a head. For some of you, this is something that is ongoing that has come back. Uh, and it could be related to how I treat my body. You know, perhaps I, I, I've known for a while, I've been told to uh, cut back or to make some changes and I haven't. And then suddenly there's an eruption here as well. This card... Um, I'm going to put a seven on this. So seven is ovaries, lower back, kidneys, veins, and buttocks, so that area. This area is heart, spine, sides of the body, and upper back. So anywhere on the torso it looks like but this here is uh, shooting pains uh, and or procedure needles um, or even a procedure you know what I'm saying and this one here it's an upheaval it's out of the blue it's sudden it's um, stopped you in your tracks and the foundations there have been changed 
in your uh, love life, we do have <coughs> Six of Cups. Now, first and foremost, some of you might hear back from your ex. Excuse me. <coughs> some of you might hear back from your ex or having pleasant times with your ex. And this, going back to your health, <coughs> suddenly now I can't breathe properly. So for some of you, a small select few, this can be a sudden, um, a sudden reaction um, or swelling in the throat. And so it's difficult to talk or difficult uh, to breathe or even tonsillitis, I'm guessing. So back to the love. Talking, hearing, um, reminiscing with an ex-partner. Uh, now for others... This is, we're celebrating an anniversary, we're celebrating a milestone together as a couple because the Six of Cups, it is an emotional card, but it's more of a reminiscing, it's more of a look at, look at our past, you know, how great that was. So celebrating something to, there to do with that. The other thing is, for a small select few, I hear childhood. So childhood friend, childhood romance, and suddenly now, uh, you could be remembering that with the wonderful, um, you know, happy times or that you run into this uh, person again and we, we catch up again. If you are single, then this means you're having fun. You're having fun. You're getting back out there and perhaps even, like I said, uh, exes. So your Doreen Virtue messages from the angels is... Yeah, keep going, miracles will uh, happen. So wherever this is happening, so maybe this is your health, miraculous solutions appear. For some of you, this might be, I wasn't expecting that news. I wasn't expecting this turn. I wasn't expecting what it was. And that's what the shock is. But miraculous solutions will appear in any of these situations. You've got the yes card. So the yes card means yes in any situation over the overall uh, reading. So you've got the Miraculous card and the Yes card. So it looks like it's going to be okay. Athena says, feel strong, stand strong. Any competition, blow it out of the water. This is about you feeling powerful and, and feeling um, in charge and feeling on top of yourself this week and making those powerful choices. Don't let anybody else make choices for you. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.